All right, here we go. Hey there, Petapon Sauce Fan. I feel like we just spun a wheel, but already we're spinning it again. Um, yeah, uh, this one might take a while to go through. Uh, the game, I suppose I'm just gonna go right now. So let's do the old shuffle. And here we go. Remember, to be part of Royal, you need to be part of my Patreon, and you need to opt in. You only need to opt in once, and then whoever wins... Trendy laws. Uh, you gotta get in touch with me and give me a whole three games to choose from. I just gotta check on something real quick. The thing I had to look was looked at, and indeed I could see it. Trendy laws. Get in touch with me. Um, uh, give me three games. I'm gonna pick one of them. I'm gonna play it one day. Isn't that incredible? I guess you also go for the managerial role. That is an option, but I consider the royal, the classic royal, to be what someone, you know, you know, the, the regular video games, they exist. I don't know what to expect, but I'm looking forward to your things. Trendy laws. The laws are trendy. The laws are full of trends. It's <laughs> what, is that? what am I saying? What does any of that mean? Does any of it matter? I don't know. It's whoa, what did I just do there? I pressed the wrong thing. Alright! I pressed the wrong thing again. See, that looks like a list. I'm like, I'm gonna choose a different list, but no, I need to go here. Gotta open a file. So today we're doing something really silly. If you've been a Patapon, you know about it. If you don't, today there's gonna be two votes. One vote is going to use a third-party side with ranked voting. And this is what we're going to spin with a wheel. And then, instead of the regular mystery box, I have made a custom voting zone thing that we are going to use the standard Patapon method of voting. So two votes, two moons on the sky. Do not get lost. It's okay. You are forget what am I talking about? As we can see here, once again, this nice chunk is a nice fraction. So you think eventually we would get games with advantages. So going for five. This is the first game we're going to get. Hopefully people will like it. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Mega Man Legends 2 already back on the platter. Wow. Wow, the first runner-up from the last vote already back. <laughs> okay. How does that make me feel, I wonder? All right, so, you know, I always cut these up. All right, so. Back right at the start. I mean, so... That game, this game won over Compy Kitty last vote by one vote. So, I mean, it might just win, but we'll see what the rest is gonna look like. We don't want to make any assumptions, you know? Like, what else is it gonna be fighting today? I don't know, it's Tiny Game. Ooh, Toho Zone. Okay, that has to have a trailer, right? All right, great, we do who. So yeah, Udungain X, it's a 2D bullet platformer. Is that a trailer? Official trailer, it's less than a minute long. That music. <laughs> wow, that looks really, I love the retro graphics there. That looks pretty cool, but yeah, Mega Man X Toho. That's a pretty good mix, you play as a bunny. Yeah, look at that, and you got flying segments, that's pretty rad, look at that, that fairy exploded. Got a little robot bunny guy, I, I am digging the gravity, oh that was a fire guy, fat cat, cat fire, flying, I know right? And there's Tui, yeah, oh, and there's Phoenix, whoa, that person has a gun, I couldn't recognize who they were. UFOs, that's a mean mushroom. Oh yeah, so Eel and Phoenix together and la available for Windows. Uden Gain X. I probably super mispronounced that, but look at that. See, we got a Mega Man, and then we got a Fan Mega Man, Fan Man Gan Man. Uden Gain X. 
does not play. Does a fan Mega Man slash Toho play against an official Mega Man product? I don't know. Does it play against the three other games that we're gonna be rolling? I also don't know. I don't know anything. Wow! Also, this is a complication, but that's okay. I'll deal. <laughs> because, uh, Whoopa was gonna be one of the games boop, 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 that I was gonna take here, but that's fine. I'm gonna find another one. It's okay. So, Whoopo! That's another game with 10 points advantage. Uh, this is a battle of monsters. Well, I think I should find a trailer for that because it's been a while. I see we already looked at this trailer, but let's look at this trailer for Nintendo Switch in case it changes anything. I don't know. Of course I'm going to be playing the version on Steam. But from what I understand, uh, Wupo is like, yeah, it's a game about little cute little guys. It's like, um... Uh, it's a, it's a Metroidvania type, I think, maybe. You're, you're a cute little guy, and you're running around, and you know, look at that, you got a French... Oh, this is German. There is it? Well, there it says, make an unusual friend. Wow, haha! <laughs> Laughing. This thing looks great. Although, this video looks weird. Fight a giant square boss and also reverse ice cream cone? That's everything I could ever desire. Well, maybe not everything, but this game just looks absolutely adorable. But also, you know, like a video game where you do things, like well, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening. This looks fantastic. Whoopo looks super rad cool. Now I'm glad that we have two 10 score advantage fighting because uh, this might end up being a battle of monsters. I don't know. But this is Whoopo! Updated everything! Wow, yeah, Definitive Edition. It's probably what I have in Steam, right? Like, logically speaking, that's probably what I have in Steam. That's what I would assume I would have in Steam, but... Oh boy, this is what it's looking at for now. Fantastic. Well, here we go! Gonna keep going. The volume between that video and this wheel... There's a world of difference between the two. This is like all advantages. All right, well, Baldi Mario is a Japanese Mario World ROM hack. You may have heard of it. <laughs> it's like, I don't really, I don't think I have, there's a trailer for it, right? All right, so I cannot find trailer or anything of Baldi Mario. So yeah, it's it's one. It's like the last game that the Eye of Mine localization power team localized, and you know it looks pretty cool. It's a relatively short game, uh, you know, on the higher side of difficulty, but maybe more within what I can manage compared to my past adventure with Raikugaki Mario. So. Mario Hack is right there. Mario Hack is in the vote. It's right there. Baldi Mario. Is this Baldi Mario's time? People will decide. Who knows, though? Who knows what the fifth thing's going to be? Is it gonna be ice cream or some tea? Letter T? Maybe. Tick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna win, but this looks pretty good. I forgot that the trailer is... Oh, that's a quick look. That's not... Okay, it's just Ticket? Okay, I can find it by going on Steam. The lightning is arriving soon. The newest, most spectacular innovation in audio, visual, It's still three minutes, which is way too long. But yeah, it's Ticket, the newest, most spectacular innovation in audiovisual enchantment. Ever so crumbling around him. See, it's, it's emotional. It's just right here. It's lore rich. You can tell. A child's gonna drink that water, and there's a bill in it. Positive review 30 of them. But they all loved it. See, you're afoot and you're jumping on brains. That's the best video game ever made. Whoa, spiky shoe. Move with shoe. Move, okay. 
Yeah. I get it. That is my dream ticket. Those that, it's, it, I feel like it says a lot that the typo I made, I thought, was on purpose. No, the game's just called Ticket. And, uh, that's Satan. He loves the shapes. I guess. I mean, why not, right? Down to spring shoe. Watch out, you're gonna get shot. I feel like the game is spoiling a lot, though. You know, it's one of those. That's Ticket. Magic Weedo made a video game. Looks pretty good. I guess that's Magic Weedo. Welcome to my video. I'm yeah. Magic the Weedo. Okay. And I want to tell you about my new game. Okay. Or should I say the newest, most spectacular innovation in audio, visual, and dance? This game Whoa, is that's, astonishing. That fast realistic, shot. High definition, real world 4D engines, bringing you what you see around you in every day into a hyper realistic cyber universe. And Ticket, everyone's Cut. a millionaire. You can never be as rich in real life as you can be in the game world, both in monetary and spiritual terms. Ever wonder what it would be like to walk on a ceiling, gravity reverse? I thought he was gonna legs, say both monetary how and about spaghetti. Owning your own horse with a personality more ecstatic and intentionally realistic than any class clown or surf shop employee. It can That's all pretty good. be done with a masterful manipulation of five braces, intricately designed to elicit the Oh, look at that Game Boy shot, though. That's super rad. When entering the brain, See, the ear holes, like, yeah, like, the game's a big joke. Evaluating your sense of reality but, uh, to a higher plane you it jump, genuinely how, looks like it does genuinely interesting things. The like, there's a lot happening. And I, I think that I it's video worth going then through. I don't Twitter think... I don't, I, I don't think it's going to win. I don't think w it will ever w win. W In fact... You could argue that through watching this trailer, maybe we've seen everything that needs to be seen. I don't know. I don't know. But, um... Oh, I said a word. But, like, um... I... I... Uh, I there's some... Maybe by sharing... Peace, motherfuckers! <laughs> Maybe by seeing this trailer, we in a world where time is running, we've seen what there is to see. It's possible. I don't care. Oh, oh, what a vote zone! This is a this is biz. Two monsters, a fan game, a rom hack, and memes walk into a bar. They're the only ones there. And only one will leave alive. <laughs> what a vote zone this is. I I do not know what's gonna happen with this. Like I said, like like when when I when Mega Man Legends 2 got picked, like I figured, alright, this is it, right? But I don't know that. Like like it barely won with the neighbors it had, but it has some pretty strong competition here. A lot of, like, like more mainstream-ish... I don't know what I'm saying. All right, look, we'll see what happens. We shall see with our eyeballs. And that is the main vote that uses rank voting things. So remember that you have to place all your ranks together... Uh, I know some people, like, placed one and then they were locked out because that was their vote. You need to put all of them in. In one shot. Don't forget that. Uh, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some votes where I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And other votes are like, yeah. <laughs> I think we know where this is going. I could be wrong, though. I shouldn't assume. But point is, okay, like I said... There are two votes today, and this is the second vote. So, these are separate, and these are going to be using Patapon rules. So, I rolled a bunch of tags, and I had to use them to make something interesting. 
And so I hand-selected a bunch of games I want to play. Yeah, you're going to vote. between. So all of these are games that I would have played if I were just to choose. And you get to vote amongst them. I think that's... I should look for... I should have... I should have opened up trailers. <laughs> Bloodstained! Curse of the Moon! <laughs> All right, sweet. We got a Nintendo Switch trailer here. That's what we're going to go with. Bloodstained Curse of the Mood is an old type game. Like, it's a new game made old type uh, oh, in the Castlevania genre of games. And, wow, is it is a lot more blatant about it than I remembered. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you want to see some, like, classic Castlevania on this channel, right? I mean, it's by the Castlevania guy. It's just, you know, he doesn't work for Konami anymore for years. And, uh, it's made a game. See, you can look up there. There's four people you can play as. See, there's Miriam. That handle on her whip is huge. What the hell? She's a Castlevania. Alfred. And there's Alfred! Good old Alfred with his magic sword and lightning spell. This feels like it makes a lot of sense if you're familiar with Castlevania 3 for the NES, which I have not played on this channel. I will one day. But Jebel is there. This is totally not Alucard. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, this is. Deep uh, hatred. For humans this is flagrant alike. the inspiration and I love it uh, it's a game that would be like it's not a long game but it's a game that has multiple paths so I would play through it like maybe like twice or something I think this looks super rad though like I'm, I'm joking around about the obvious but this looks super rad. I saw a little bit of footage. I remember the bosses being like these huge affairs that are really impressive. You got a slide? You're like you're like a Mega Man. Because like, I believe that you don't start with all the guys. As you can see, like they got moves and Treasure Knight is there. Yeah, talking about bosses. See, there's huge bosses that look super rad. There's Lady Vampire there. I don't know what's up with that thing. That's totally not death. What are you talking about? That looks super rad. I feel like I'm being weird uh, with my Curse with my thing moon. here. I shouldn't be. This looks super fantastic. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. And yeah, if I had Available rolled May 24th, the thing I rolled, 2018. I would be playing. Inti creates really. Well, now there's a blast from the past. Yeah, so I had to choose Inti a game creates. from 2018. I was like, you know what? That game's from 2018. Smurfs Cart, not so much, but they're not part of this. That looks super rad, and that is one of the first things. You saw. Make your own choice. And now I realize I must have cast... No, no, no. Not, I have retro gaming on the thing. So, okay. So the second prop I picked up for myself was... Game that starts with either the or a. Because, see, I have game starts with every letter. But with T, I have the doesn't count. And uh, a, I have a and n doesn't count. Um, you kind of experience that with uh, a whole new world being an H game because I discount the a. Anyways, I decide upon the, the messenger. So if Bloodstain is like a not Castlevania, the messenger, from what I understand, is a not... Ninja Gaiden. Man, really love that, uh, these Switch trailers. <laughs> what is up with that? Look at that. See, it's just, it's just, ooh, Devolver, really? Somehow I didn't know that. I mean, sure, there's a giant, like, look at that. Like, this is so blatantly Ninja Gaiden. Apparently there's, like, this big twist to the game. Uh, I don't know what it is. But we saw that ogre's butt, uh, you know. Oh, there's a skill tree? Okay, so it's a little bit more than Ninja Gaiden. But, you know, it's gonna guide on the ninja. Side story, except this time, it's the main story. There's a little devil there. Oh, what a rude boy. Oh, wow, okay. That, this looks super rad, though. Like, doesn't it? But I don't know. I'm seeing this. I'm like, wow, no, yeah. This, look at this. Giant Retro Bosses is the theme today. Whoa! What was that? Okay. Alright, well that happened. Uh, cool hat. That is a pretty rad hat. If I could have that hat. So we got hat mode and not hat mode. Very important. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. No, yeah, there's, like, a lot happening here. There's, like, a lot of mechanics going on. What the heck? Pop that. Man, this trailer seems spoilery. Now, I'm pretty good at forgetting trailer spoilers, so I'm not too worried. Nintendo Switch, the trademark of Nintendo, remember that. That looks super rad, though, right? Like, doesn't it? Like, you look at that, and you're like, man, you know what? I'm into the... I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I guess I'm not going to force you to think and do anything, but uh, you know what? Peanut butter. 2014 uh, is a date because I've got a tag for every year from 1983 to this year. Starting 83 because that's the year I was born. Before then, video games didn't matter. I got a 1982 and below. I just put everything below that in the same bucket. Whatever. Firefly's Diary. That's the prequel, pseudo prequel to... Um, Rose in the Twilight, remember that? Yeah, I remember this game as Hutchtoll number Nike. And so I had it before as, um, in my thing as a name I couldn't remember, name that is impossible to find, but then Xfix found it. I wanted to keep it like that, but for this purpose, I had to, to release the name. So yeah, The Firefly Diary. I remember watching the trailer for this game Back when we were doing, like, the massive, massive uh, things. Uh, like, Patreon event that would decide to list for, like, the following two years. Well, I remember seeing that. And I remember being very impressed. Obviously, it didn't win. But maybe now, here it can. This is a lot of trailers to go through. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I didn't make these trailers deep within an ancient ruin where the stench of death lingers. So this game was made before Rose and Twilight. So it might, I, I don't know if that means anything necessarily. I don't think they're related, but they definitely share a visual aesthetic. And I think they're seen, yeah, like I said, as like a pseudo, pseudo series. But yeah, you can totally see the paper doll aesthetic here. Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely, I love her horns. I love this girl's visual design. Like, very simple, but, ah, I'm a sucker for horns. What can I say? Just sticking right out of her perfectly coiffed hairstyle. <laughs> this is pretty neat looking, but I kind of want to see the game. So this is what happened. I, I chose a trailer from, from them rather than the Nintendo Switch trailer. This is what happens. Two fireflies will leave. Let's see, this is why it's the Firefly Diary. It's not a lot. Look at that. Paper cuts. Meow. The Awakened. Look at that. There we go. We, get, we got to see a little. See, oh, this looks so cool. So we got like the shadow world and the real world. So Twilight was like this world stopped and the world going. This looks a lot more detailed in a weird way. Like it looks a lot more paper crafty. Oh, this looks really cool. I wish the trailer spent more time on gameplay, though. But yeah, like, there's clearly, like, something going on. We got, like, environmental puzzles. I thought I remember, like, a sort of, like, a glitchy aesthetic. Maybe it's gonna go into that soon? Her chance to dream. It's a nice little flower. It's more of a sprout. It's two leaves. Two leaves don't make a flower. You lost memory, and that's why you got like this glass shard aesthetic everywhere. It's called a metaphor? Well, this looked pretty rad. It's not like my ideal type of uh, trailer, though. I like to see gameplay. We didn't get a whole lot of that. But we got totally got a vibe, though, and that does look super cool. The Firefly Diary looked super rad, and... I want to play it, like, obviously, like I said, this is a game I would have chosen if I had only select, if I only had rolled whatever it was, um, 2014, that, that looks super cool though, right? Doesn't it? I also rolled a game release in November, <laughs> and I selected Kirby's Pinball Land. 
it's a real game for the Game Boy. There's totally not going to be a trailer for that. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, uh, long play is. I'm not clicking that, but you now know this exists and you can look for it for yourself. But yeah, the long play is like half an hour and the full game playthrough underneath is 15. So it's a real game. Like it can be beaten. It's a Kirby game. So it's part of the soft all the Kirby I have going. So if you want me to play Kirby, you know, this is, this is, not, this is an option. If none of the games I've selected inspire you and you just want me to blast through this slot of video game, make me play Kirby's Pinball Land. Spinball never ends. And yeah, I had a 2016 game I had to choose. I chosen Wuppo, but it's now part of this vote. And I will not have a game in both voting zones. And I feel like... I feel like the Will B vote needs Wuppo, so I'm gonna find another 2016 game. Give me like a hot second. You know what? Like, I just kind of like look downward a little bit. Don't need this anymore. Yes, I do need. Wait. Oh, I copied instead of paste. You know what? Get out of here. I don't need you anymore. Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Here. In the five advantage, we're gonna have a ROM hack in the list. Another special world is a short ROM hack that is just, you know, a reimagining of the special world. Another special world one is, I believe, fairly vanilla, and two is a lot more chocolate, and they are a dual package. If I play one, I play both. And I'm counting the date of the first game as the entry point. Here go. Here's the page for another special world about Lal Yoshi and Rextep, a duo of name that we are familiar with here in this channel. Standard Har, which is pretty great. Yeah, see, look at that. Uh, eight levels of fun. I don't know why they removed SA1. Oh, it's because to be played on, on, on console, right? And yeah, see, look at that. This is some classic good time Mario World, which some people would agree maybe we don't have enough. And so and the second one's very hard, might be a bit harder. But, you know, look at that. See if we look here. See, there's more sprites, more variety. It's a bit with it's a game made with more modern sensibilities, and you know, I respect that. And that looks super cool. That's why I you no, know, same name, same series, but both games are pretty short. So I feel like both together together like make a whole lot of sense. And so that's why these are here there. Maybe this is bias, but I find that the mystery tournament, which is not a mystery, so like I'm not gonna be coy about it. I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put the winner in the in the in the in the winner. I'm gonna put a winner in the winner. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a winner in the coming up next uh, thing. But yeah, so so yeah yeah so yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? I don't know. Uh, you can tell where my tastes are very retro flavored or stylish in my hand pick collection. But this is it. So, to reiterate Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon, The Messenger, Firefly's Diary, po uh, well, Kirby's Pinball Land, or Another Special World 1 and 2. And also on the Retronauts, on the ranked voting official wheel picks, we got. Mega Man Legends 2, Udon Gain X, Whoopo, Baldi Mario, and Ticket, the newest, most spectacular innovation in audio visual enchantment. Vote! Vote twice! I might make two votes more frequently now. I don't know, because I think voting is fun. I mean, like, there are some, some wheel prompts that will make me want to play very specific things. But I think if I don't feel something very strongly, I might make votes more often. Like, have two votes. Like, what's wrong with having two votes? Like, we got we got two voting systems. So you could you would basically have one shot of um of a uh, flicking my finger. 
Well, okay, but see, see, one shot that's like randomized and one that's curated by me. Now, the thing is, there are prompts where I would need time to think about it. Uh, something to just kind of ponder. Anyway, yeah, Trendy Laws. Remember, you're a royal. There's that happening also. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Meanwhile, it's Leisure Town.